Welcome to Cloudberry Backup. The bare metal backup allows you to backup a system disk or any other hard drive volume on your computer so that you can do the full system recovery. To use the image-based backup feature, click the bare metal icon on the Cloudberry Backup toolbar. The backup wizard will open. Click Next. Here, you need to select your cloud storage account. If you've already linked an account, you can select it from the list. Otherwise, click Add New Account. Select the cloud storage service you'd like to use. There are many popular options like Amazon S3, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Storage, and more. You can also create a backup on your local file system, and that's what I'm going to do in this instance, but that's only for the purposes of this tutorial. The backup functionality will work the same whether you choose a cloud service or local backup. I'm simply opting for local backup here so I can perform a quick backup to show you the functionality. Continue with the setup. We recommend saving your backup plan configuration in the storage location as well, just in case. Select image-based backup, then choose what partitions to backup, and select next. Here, you can enable compression and encryption. We recommend enabling compression. If you choose to enable encryption, you can set the encryption type using the drop-down, and you can set your encryption password. Next, you can set your version retention policy, the number of versions of each backup you'd like to keep. The simplest option is just to choose the default setting. Here, you can set the schedule for your backups. You can choose to backup your data manually, on a specific date, or on a recurring schedule. You can also opt to cancel a backup if it takes too long and choose how to handle any missed backups. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to proceed with the manual option. On this screen, you can adjust your schedule further if desired. You can input a command to run before and after the backup if desired. Then specify your notification settings, if you'd like to receive a notification when a backup is complete or when it fails, and proceed. You'll see a summary of your plan. Click Next to create the plan and proceed to backup. Select the Run Backup Now checkbox and click Finish to start your backup. Congratulations, you're now protected with Cloudberry Backup. By default, Cloudberry Backup performs block-level backups. This means that all your data will be backed up initially, but after that, only the items that have changed, such as new files that have been added or updated, will be backed up. This maximizes your backup efficiency while still ensuring all your files are safe and secure. With Cloudberry Backup, you can not only restore the whole system, but also the individual files right from the cloud. To restore individual files, select the Backup Storage tab. Right-click on the System Image file and choose File Level Restore. If you've enabled encryption, you'll need to enter your password to proceed. From here, you can expand the volumes that were backed up and locate an individual file. Right-click on the files you'd like to restore and choose Restore To. Then, simply select the location where you'd like to restore the files and click OK. You'll get a confirmation message, and that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.